we're in. <sighs> we're finished um, at the den. Mill nil, not the forest one. <sighs> you know, sometimes you sort of lost the words, but right, let's try and get me act together here. Um, first half, about the, like the Palace game, we was on top a little bit and all that, but they always had their chances. Um, that uh, Forest had their chances um, in the first half, and basically goes in nil nil. Second half, again, um, Forest had the better chances, didn't they? I mean, I was surprised that. I always thought the second half, I, I want a nil-nil, I, I don't want to a draw here. Um, I'd be happy with a draw. But you could see in the Forest team a bit of agility, a bit of skill, passing togetherness and all that, which our team lacked in abundance. Um, they had quite a few chances, Bart saved two or three um, good chances they had. Uh, we. We have to puff, don't we? We have to puff, and you could see in our squad we proper lack quality. Um, they've got that bit of quality, we ain't. And do you know what disappoints me as a fan is that we all know what we're missing, and the management of the club must know by November, October, November, December what we're missing, and go out there and sort it out. And they haven't. And this is, goes on for years now, it goes on for years. When we get in a certain position where you think, you know what, we're near the playoffs and whatever, and we go backwards. And that's exactly what we're doing now. Um, as a club, there was no, there's no spark in our club, no spark in our team at the moment. Um, yes, people moan about, oh, a phobie should have scored that goal in the second half with a 1 1 0. But they, let's be honest, right, they was better than us, they had the better chances. They had better quality, and we just have to puff them. We just, I mean, Ben Thompson come and he tried his best, and uh, like I say, we got to cross him. We, we, we was never, I, I knew we was never ever going to win that game. I knew we was never ever going to win that game, and um, like I said, I thought I'd, I'd be happy with a nil nil, and um, yeah, it's, it's hard built to swallow, isn't it? That last minute goal, and it's like fucking, like, it's, it's like a stab in the heart, isn't it? Um, to lose like that and I can't lie and say we deserved the draw because we didn't they was more skillful going forward they cut across that box so many times it wouldn't be no surprise if that game finished 3-0 to them so at the end of the day I'll be honest they deserved to win that game not the way they won it but I'd rather them be 3-0 up than fucking losing the 91st 92nd minute and um yeah, it's a bit of pill to swallow. You can see, I, I'm so disappointed. But as hard as the players tried, we ain't got the quality there to, to break teams down like that, like they did to us. I know it was a 91st minute, but before that, they had loads of three or four chances they could have scored. Um, yeah, we're a long, long way from them. They're the team that start the season losing seven games. And all of a sudden, manager's come in and he's, he, he, he's built some sort of a camaraderie in the squad. And they're on a roll, weren't they? Um, not on the forest. Um, as for the club, I don't really have a go at the club much, but we've got people in our club telling us, do this, don't do this, don't do that, don't do that. My message to them people is that we're never going to be a happy, clappy club, right? We're never, ever going to be that. And if you think, you, you, if you think we are going to be that, I think you, and I think you know you are, should move to Leighton Orient or Charlton and leave us alone. Our motto is, no one likes us, we don't care. We've always done that throughout the years and I'm proud to be a Millwall fan. People have a go on the TV and, 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 and things like that and it gets my back, it gets my kids back up, right? Um, and when you get people within the club having a, like a semi-go at the fans because of our certain opinions on things, that's our opinion, that's what I call free speech. Um, rightly or wrongly, that is my decision or whoever's decision what they want to do but when you get these these people in our club telling us to do this and do that Phil Profit has done a great interview during the week saying about our, our club and like it, it said about Farage said about bottle phone we, he went no it happens everywhere right listen we're Millwall and I'm proud to be Millwall right but I think certain people in the club have got to stick up for us rather than having a go at us right because we don't conform that with the whole country there's something wrong with us and you telling us printing things on the on the wall today 
extra security. What's all that about, right? And another thing, if you want to be honest with us, yeah. tell us the truth about Jed, right? Everyone telling us, oh, he's injured, he's injured, he's injured. Well, the rumor going around today is he's signed for Nottingham Forest. So if that is true, I hope it's not true, then you've lied to us, saying that he's injured, he's injured. But we're, listen, we know he's got to be sold. I agree he's got to be sold. I agree to bring the money into a club, right? But I'm starting to get pissed off with your lies. If he's injured, no, he's not injured. You're selling him. Tell us you're selling him. Because I am fucking pissed off. So don't tell us how to lead our lies. You tell us the truth. Anyway, at the den, finished, not in the forest, mill nil, not for, and I'm fucking pissed off. Come on, you lies.